All right, as some of you um, have already figured out, I'm starting to make videos again after all these years. Um, there's a lot of labels I would like to actually talk about, but I'm going to start with uh, Minimal Kibat. Minim <laughs> I'll, I'll let Mario pronounce it. It's pronounced Minimal Kombinat. Minimal Kombinat. Okay, so I got a, a couple of boxes here with a lot of records in them. I've never done an unboxing video um, in all these years of being part of the YouTube vinyl community. I think unboxing videos can be kind of boring, uh, but this one won't be because Mario's releases are just stunning. They are pieces of artwork. Um, so I want to share these things with you. You're going to experience them as I do. I've seen them online, but I've never actually held these in my hands before. And uh, if you uh, take a look at these puppies, this one here, it's, it's kind of an extrusion of plastic. This uh, a 3D cover, it's embossed. Maybe that's a better way to put it. Um, but uh, it's one thing to see them online, but to hold this in your hands and actually feel this 3D cover, it's, it's so cool. Uh, seriously, Mario's pieces are just um, art. They really are. Um, a lot of them come with these little panels um, that are numbered um, with a CD inside. Um, usually, uh, I th believe most of them are lathe cut, um, but these clear vinyl um, releases, and uh, they're just <laughs> they're just so cool. This looks very nice. It's got a photograph on the on the outside, a stamp for um, his label on the back, and a lot of his are uh, tied. Um, with these little strands. So you actually have to um, unravel them and, um, and it's, it's an experience uh, getting into these things. Uh, uh, some of these have got these little bubble wrap sleeves, which are kind of nice. Um, but again, you're gonna see a consistent theme here. Um, photos, um, sometimes signed, and numbered and stamped. So um, there's 23 of each. Um, I believe all of these are lathe cut records. Um, some of these I might skip through a little faster. They're actually uh, CDRs. So this one from um, Ultra Spiritual Awakening. <laughs> I think I have that name right. Um, is actually a, it's still very cool. These are these are like I said one of a kind works of art. But um, but I believe these are CDRs, um, not actual vinyl. But the packaging is still cool. The, the metallic bubble wrap, reflective bubble wrap. Um, this one's got a mirror in it, <laughs> so you can uh, see yourself in the reflection. Um, nice to have a, a super reflective surface in there as well. And the CDRs really are works of art. I mean, you're not going to find a CDR package like these things are, but I think I want to focus on the vinyl mainly. Um, and this one, a nice wooden box. you got to love a wooden box. I love the section of the branch with the logo on the back. Um, but you pop open the wooden box and some of them have things like buttons or other trinkets inside um, and a lot of little laser cut elements or I'm assuming they're laser cut possibly not um, and again 23 copies you got a um, the CDR um, a photo that's signed and by the way the 23 edition I think that's when he was 23 and he did his first little noise uh, collage tape set uh, he did him in a set of 23 and I think he's just kind of kept that up um, but anyway I mean this is very cool <laughs> splattered with paint both on the um, sleeve and on the vinyl itself and printed on the back um, so this is a single-sided lathe cut um, but <laughs> like I said uh, one of a kind or 23 of a kind <laughs> um, really cool pieces Uh, I might show this next one a little differently because it's kind of hard to see, but if I put it in a really dark room, um, this re release by Sugalo, it's it's got an LED uh, light strip inside the box, which is super cool. So when you pull the clear record out, it makes these amazing um, visuals. Um, I just love it. And, and an added bonus for this particular release, um, the uh, slip mat or, or whatever this uh, disc is on the inside glows in the dark so it's a moon that glows in the dark and if you put the clear vinyl back on top of that glow in the dark moon it's just this this whole package is just such an amazing effect again uh, mario is an artist <laughs> 
nobody's gonna believe me but honest to god this is the truth as i was unpacking this i'll play you my actual reaction but i completely forgot about this one um when i was first contacting him about his releases um there was an exchange back and forth and he asked for something which i forgot i sent him um but something that i've been working on for years um, became a part of this uh, box set <laughs> and uh, as I opened it um, I was reminded exactly what that was <laughs> that is awesome <laughs> oh Mario <laughs> I'll have to explain this fantastic so apparently the guy that runs this project um, wanted to include these things. Uh, he's, they've got an anti-Trump song that they perform live wearing Trump masks. And uh, he thought it would be fun to have the uh, barf bags and um, one of my uh, Black Lives Matters stamped dollar bills. So they asked Mario if he could get a hold of them after Mario had shared my artwork with them. <laughs> so very cool. I think if you go on Discogs, you even see my name on uh, the box set for this release. And it'll tell you more about the, the different items um, that are in here. The little uh, Warsaw uh, Garden Gnome metal keychain, which I'm, I'm not quite sure about either. The, or the festival that they played at. Um, um, in, interesting um, information up on Discogs if you want to read more about this. I also want to um, show this really fast. This is not um, one of Mario's releases. This is not a, a mini mal combinat uh, release. But uh, when I was talking to him about some interesting releases that he had done, he mentioned this one, and I thought, oh, I need to get a hold of this. So I wish I had good information on it. I, sh I should have looked it up. But, but um, it's got a cement backing to it, and, uh, and I thought it was kind of an unusual package, and I thought, well, I should pick this up. So I, I just kind of picked this one up. Some of the um, minimal combinat releases um, but these are all cdrs and, and by far <laughs> the fanciest cdr packaging you're ever going to come across um, so these are all really cool they're printed on uh, boards they're mounted they're um, they're unique um, one-of-a-kind type things so very cool um, i don't mention cds a lot um, but i do want to talk about um, another label time released sound who does both CDs and vinyl. So I'm gonna make a video of them. Um, so maybe as I'm um, showing you some of these um, releases that Mario's done, I should mention a couple of the videos that are coming up. Um, I really uh, wanna do a Pioptic uh, video, uh, People in a Position to Know. It's Mike Dixon's label. I actually shot video of Mike years ago and, um, and I, I never got around to finishing the video. The same with Elusive Sound. I actually finished an Elusive Sound video, or almost finished, and then I, I just, uh, personal tragedy that um, some of you know about, I, I, it just kept me from focusing on um, things, and I, I just couldn't uh, finish stuff, and I just kind of gave up on the channel for a long time. But the point here is that I, I'm going to try to get back to making videos. I want to talk about Time Release Sound. I want to talk about Elusive Sound, uh, Romanus Records, um, people in a position to know. Um, so uh, hopefully you'll get to see a whole bunch of videos about those guys really soon. But uh, let's get back to looking at some of these uh, amazing vinyl uh, releases that uh, Mario did. This next one is a reissue that Mario's label did. And... Uh, was that I think originally a privately uh, released Kraut folk album from 1972 and I think there have been a bunch of um, reissues of this particular release but uh, this is Mario's version um, incense and uh, other things here inside the package I mean he, he, Mario likes including some cool stuff <laughs> in here um, so, um, and then this is kind of a reproduction of the cover. If you look at the original cover, it looks very similar um, to this. Um, <clears throat> except this time it's kind of a marbled gray uh, vinyl, which is cool because uh, the uh, outside is this stone kind of marble type um, structure. Um, and it's, this is actually pretty heavy, by the way. 
So I think this is either actual stone or cement or something um, with the screen print on it. Um, but a really cool release and one I would never be able to afford, you know, those private um, releases, um, especially from the 70s. Those are pretty expensive to try to get a hold of now. Um, this is a cool release. It's got a rotating kinetic cover, um, which is really awesome. I think um, the THC Combinat uh, label is more kind of a psychedelic music. This is kind of a compilation of uh, different bands, I believe. Um, but I just love these little uh, kinetic uh, things that physically can be moved. And you can watch this um, optical illusion while you spin it. Those are very cool. I'm uh, likely going to get <laughs> a lot of this wrong here, but um, this is one of the releases that I was dying to get a hold of. I'm so excited about this one. I'm not sure how to pronounce the name of this band. Uh, this is the one. Uh so cool. Get some of these. Um, I think the guy's name is uh, Dimitri Gruber. Um, Kind of a Johnny Jewel type of sound is uh, the way I think Mario had described it once. Kind of like, a, you know, a, um, Italians do it better. This is uh, Russians do it better. <laughs> um, and uh, just a wicked cool uh, packaging. I mean, this is, this is just stunning. I mean, it's got the usual stuff on the inside. You open it up and it's got a card with a photograph and it's stamped, you know, so many out of 23 and um, all of that kind of stuff. Um, very cool, very limited. And it's got these little extra pieces. I don't know if that's in case uh, you lose some of the outside or if, if some of the cover breaks or whatever. Um, it's got a lathe cut vinyl, which is very cool. And it's also kind of cool to look at the colors um, through the clear vinyl. Um, but these little discs, I think he actually had his wife help him because it was so much work. I think it took him forever to put these together and it, and it looks like it. Um, I love the way these little things dangle and uh, reflect colors and light back. Um, if you take a flashlight and move the flashlight around, um, you get really cool effects too. Um, but when you wiggle it, that's that's when you really see these crazy colors. It's it's such a cool visual effect and um, and it, you know the sound that it makes and uh, ah, I don't know I'm I'm smitten with this one. This is he's outdone himself. Um, he has a whole bunch of releases I don't have um, filled with liquid things like that. I wish I had more of his releases, but uh, um, Mario's M23. Um, it's it's pretty amazing. You should collect some if you can. <laughs> uh, it's so cool. Mario, these are amazing.